A continuación presentamos el devocional diario traducido al inglés. En español lo puede encontrar de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias por el canal de YouTube. Centro Evangélico Vida Nueva. Dejamos más información abajo en la descripción del vídeo. Good morning, my dear brethren and friends. May the Lord bless you and as always I'm welcoming all of you to this daily devotional that today is going to be based in the book of Psalms chapter 97 verse 10 and the word of the Lord says the following you who love the Lord hate evil he preserves the souls of his saints he delivers them out of the hands of the wicked we can say that this verse is divided into two parts if they were, if they were two verses in one the first part I think we have to be in, uh, clearly enough at this point of view Because when the Lord says that when we say that we love him, then we have to hate everything that God hates. Imagine that a person was, for example, a thief all his life, and now he says he has converted himself, and now he says he's a Christian, but he continues stealing. It's an incoherent thing. Or a person that was an idolater, and then he says now he believes and he reads the word of God and congregating, that he's a Christian and loves the Lord, but he continues to worship dead images that we all know that don't have no power to harm or to do any kind of good. In other words, the change is not only ha have to be said, but it has to be demonstrated that our life has changed. It has inconsistency, a lack of respect for God and his word. When a person continues to practice sin and he thinks that he is a a Christian. The Lord wants our lives to change inside and out. All things have passed away. Behold, everything is new. The Bible also speaks very clearly about that if a person practices constantly sin, then that person has not known or experienced the love of God. But when a person is born again and puts his life in the hands of the Lord, that person is never again the same. He leaves the sin, he hates it, he separates himself from it and from all the things that for years have dominated them, that that lifestyle of disobedience, of disorder, etc. On the other hand, the second part of the text says that the Lord protects the lives and the souls of his children from the hand of the wicked. We are not conscious and we're not aware of the things that the people that are Um, that not believe are um, making up on the dangers that the Lord has uh, freed us from and only in eternity when we are in the presence of the Lord we're going to be aware of how many dangers the Lord avoided and how many accidents and how many things that were coming to harm us and destroy us remember that Satan says that it's like a roaring lion is a thief that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come, says the Lord, to give you life and life in abundance. We do not have to be in living in fear. We don't have to be in the ministry with fear. Fear of what they say, fear of what they do, because the Lord has promised, and He's faithful to His promises, to keep us from very bad things that some of us we realize and others we don't. Whatever the case, The believer has to live with the peace and with the assurance that his God is keeping them and protecting them and freeing them from dangers and things that we ignore but that are real. The spiritual world is real. We know that when something is about to happen, let's say important, that is going to come to the world and the nations, the spiritual world feels like a hornet's nest when they move it like they feel moved because they feel that something important is about to happen. We see maybe the situation in the Middle East, how it is. Even yesterday, they said that there was an earthquake in Damascus that affected several surrounding countries. Whatever the case, the enemy knows that there is little time left, and he will try to discredit to, the, to uh, your testimony, to throw your life to the ground. But the promise of the Lord is that he keeps his children And the souls of his saints are protected by the hand of the Lord. So live with this confidence and this assurance and this peace that no weapon 
formed against us will stand because the blessing of the Lord and the protection of God is real. When you command your children and take your children to school and they spend hours and hours in the hands of unbelievers, in the hands of people that perhaps have other beliefs and other lifestyle different from the principles, morally and spiritually speaking, that we teach our children at home, you don't have to be afraid because you send them with the coverage of the Lord, with the blessing of the Lord. When you go out to work, when you go out to another country, when you go to another part of the world, you have to know that the Lord has promised to keep you all the days of your life. But above all things, stay away from evil. Do not play with sin. Stay as far as possible from everything that God rejects so that you can live a life in order, in obedience, align with God, in peace with Him, and then the blessing of God will never depart from your life and from your home. By the way, how is your life in facing the Lord? Are you living an orderly life? Are you living a holy life? Are you living a life according to the Word of God? If you call yourself a Christian, then you have to walk, as the Bible says, like He walked. May the Lord keep us from all danger and all evil. And let's do our part today so that the Lord surprises us, so that He continues to bless and use us and much more like he has done so far. Let's pray and present in our lives to our Lord, trusting in him, knowing that we have the God's bl the blessing of God over our lives and that nothing and no one has to disturb us or steal our peace because greater is he that is in us than he that comes against us. Let's pray to our good God. Father in heaven, thank you for this new day of life. Thank you for your promises. Thank you, Lord, for your word, for your presence in us. Lord, you have kept us so far from all danger and all evil, and we ask that you continue to do so. Bless our children, our grandchildren, our homes, our ministry, our jobs, and that everything is under your covering and your blessing. With thanksgiving, we ask all of these things in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. My dear brethren, may the Lord bless you. Go through life calm and secure. Enjoy your relationship and your and communion with the Lord. Do not let anything or anyone to rob the peace that Christ uh, paid for you on the on the blood of on the cross of Calvary. Any information that you need, do not hesitate to contact us through mividanueva.org. And we are very very close every day more and more to reach that million subscribers in our YouTube channel, Centro Evangelico Vida Nueva. If you haven't subscribed, I ask that you do that right now and to touch the bell so that you can receive a notification every time that we are sharing the Word of God, sound doctrine through our channels. May the Lord bless you and we continue moving forward in the name of the Lord.